hi there welcome to my channel my name is stephanie so i'm going to be talking about the journey of my hair and the start really of the whole stress so when i was in high school secondary school queen's college yaba lagos to be precise the hairplates used to run away from me like i'll have my turn to make my hair and then they'll just keep me because my hair was hard strong it was long i used to be nominee of this rapunzel for my class and stuff like that but guys this hair was thick one time i cried home um, during my holiday told my mom that you know my hair needs to be retouched some girls have retouched their hair i think i was in jail still then and then i can my own is so strong you know i just told her all the stress we did and then she's like okay cool now you have told me since we quickly went buckets relaxer started retouching the hair so i retouched my hair say 1999 then onwards uni days everything up to my master i came to um, the uk in 2010 and yeah i was retouching the hair is retouching my hair never Ever made it softer from uni days like my roommates retouch her hair i'll retouch my hair has to be soft laid and everything mine will still be strong under growth still everywhere after like 30 minutes my hair doesn't look relaxed again and then when you touch it it's so cool as 2011 i got fed up i just walked into the barbing and i was like i want to cut my hair they said what level do you want is it two five i said lowest level level one level zero point five i sat down the guy cut the hair and i didn't tell anyone so i called my mom like some weeks later and told her okay i cut my hair and she's like oh my god oh my god would you look like a man would you get married Something, ah. I was like, don't worry, it's going to grow soon. Me too, I started feeling like very impatient with it. I used to like pull the hair, pull the hair every time. Ah, you go, when are you going to grow? As in the instant it grew a bit, I quickly went to do braids and I was so excited that, okay, yeah, I could do other things with my hair. But guys, the struggle did not end. But I was just managing, managing until my wedding day, <laughs> starts not here. I just had to call my friend Ify. I was like, Ify, man, what am I going to do my hair? Because I heard Ify talk one time of one texturizer she had used and everything. So she's like, okay, she's going to buy the texturizer for me. She gave it to Larry, who brought it to London. They bought, gave me, got me two bottles of, lo and behold, my hair could not those two were just too small for my hair luckily the shop beside the salon had that same texturizer so we got two other containers four containers of texturizer to just soften this hair the results were good it was nice my hair was soft manageable packable the wedding day we packed it up it was beautiful between the wedding and um, let's say september this year i texturized the hair like two times and then the third time i texturized just the edges because i couldn't buy the i was just in a hurry from Aylesbury to london <sighs> come fashion week this year that was some three weeks ago i took off my braids because i obviously needed to look lovely on the street style wore this pink wig it was beautiful but i said stephanie you're not going to do this hair again like i'm not going to braid it i'm not going to fix any weave i'm not i knew i was traveling soon i'm like i'm not gonna i have to push myself to cut this hair. So i said talking to my husband again let's this hair there i really want to cut it i really want to cut it I'm like okay cool what styles um do you want show me let's just like choose something so i showed him um, some pictures and i just settled on one finally and then on my way to work the next morning like after this conversation i just got a dm from an instagram um page if he had already recommended this instagram page to me one other one but i checked it and they used like all these really big influencers i was like are you sure these people are going to be so good even if they are good are you sure they're not going to be too expensive so i was still sitting on the thought of that i consulted one girl tenny who had cut her hair she just told me things to do told me one other girl that was okay but i just like okay so that morning i got this message from dk uk salon they told me how they wanted to like just change the whole hair care thing when you're going to um, make your hair they can color your hair do anything i just let me to spread the word for them basically to collaborate in an art while your hair is being done so i had a consultation with Wendy and then we booked in the day and she comes so the other day I took a permission from work to close at 2 went to the salon and then got everything done I feel that your hair is very dry okay and you need a really good treatment okay on the hair are you looking to take it take it down the front yeah yeah the sides will be lower and the sides would obviously be quite lower and yeah. then I would use a clipper yeah. afterwards just to, to, the, yeah, to tidy it up. Edges, yeah. Yeah. Your hair needs a really good treatment yeah. then. Okay. Really good moisturizing treatment. Okay. So with regards to colour, yeah. it wouldn't be a colour today because I'm going to have to test you. Ah. But you could always come back. Okay. When? Because I'm travelling on Friday and I need my hair to be done. I, yeah, I am. And I don't mind the color now. Mm. Treat it. I'll be moisturizing every day when I travel. Mm. I'll just buy whatever I say I should buy. Okay, what color are you looking at? Um, maybe brownish. Mm -hmm. Not crazy red or anything like that. Like something with dark brown. Okay, so something to just blend in and tone what you have here now. No, this. Okay, but, yeah, but lighter than the. How light we're talking? Yeah, like the top of hers. The top. Okay, let me just. Hi, Juanita. 
<laughs> so guys, Anita is doing a documentary of... Sorry, what's the documentary about again? So, um, the black hair or something? Yeah. Um, the struggles of hair. So it's about different episodes about fashion, beauty oh, and hair. Okay. So each person is given their own story about what they've been through when it comes to these areas. Okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about that later. So I'm going to have to ask you if you could sign something because usually before having colour like this, you have to have a colour test. Oh, okay. Do you understand what yeah. I mean? To make sure that you're not allergic to anything, anything. in the colors. No, I don't think I am. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That was saying that. Yeah? yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that dish needs to change his hair. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even show. Yeah. Apparently over here, you don't look at the mirror when you're doing your hair, you look at us. So let's look at us. I'm going to show you the rest of it when we're done. The majority of the length on okay. top and take the sides really quite short. Okay. Um, Sophie, could you just show the picture? Okay, urgent. Nice. Yeah, because she's shopping on... Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah. So just to get low maintenance. Yeah. Well, yeah, for life. Yeah, nobody does for life. But obviously, yeah. I'm going to have to be moisturizing it truthfully, as she said. Yeah. But for now, I don't want to be doing anything really yeah. Yeah, gradient with these now. Yeah. And yeah. also, because we're obviously going to be using color. Yeah. Um, I told Stephanie about our disclaimer for. Oh, okay. Design. Yeah, and you're just going to be doing it on the tips anyway. No, no, no. no she's going to do it everywhere. I think hers was thrown off because I don't know. But yeah. yeah, this yeah. will probably be how you look later. Yeah, yeah. as it grows yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I so do. you're doing we're doing a full head tint from yeah. this right away. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. A few moments later A few moments later. What's this one? Is it bleach as well? No, this is a toner. Toner. Yeah, when you bleach the hair, you can't leave the bleach just like that because okay. it leaves the hair porous. So you have to tone it with a color that would help to close the cuticle. Okay. So it's not left open to be dry and brittle. Yeah. that has been washed off. No, no, you need a bit of height. Maybe not that, you could take a little bit just off here, yeah, like yeah. just there. Please can you introduce yourself and tell me about your blog? Okay, so my name is Stephanie, I'm a Okafora, I'm a fashion blogger. My style, travel, and the food. I'm a bit of beauty, to be honest, because you can't run away from me, but I'm not that obsessed with beauty at all. Imagine I'm a as well, I'm a finance girl. I obviously studied in uni, finance, I did my master's in economics and international business. So I work with Lloyd's Fashion Group right now. But well, blogging wise, yeah, I do fashion as I said, lifestyle travel food. Here at DK UK, we usually work with no mirrors. So you come in, you have your consultation in front of a reveal mirror, and then at the end, when we're finished, we let you see what the hair 
that she looks like. Okay. As you can see, and then I will show you whipping your up. So it's a wrap guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to come to DKUK if you want to get your hair cut, curled, colored, toned, bleached, <laughs> whatever you want guys. I'm so excited, I can't wait to start rocking this hair. Just make sure you follow me, stay tuned on my Instagram so you see how I'm going to be rocking it and stuff. I'll just get products from the shop right now before I get home and we're definitely going to get to see. I just love my hair now guys, like it's such a vibe. Please drop it in the comment section, let me know what you think about my new look. I actually wanted a color darker but she went this um, color because it was beautiful and it was going to suit my skin color so guys um if you're in london or you're, you're trying to just make a decision with your hair dk uk is a good salon it's actually a wet salon but wendy is the person who does black people's hair and she comes tuesdays and thursdays there you have a free consultation obviously on the phone or face to face and then you just go ahead and do what you want to do i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can join my family leave a comment because i really love to read from you let me know what you think and then click the thumb up button when you subscribe also click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications because youtube is where these days see you guys on the next episode bye bye so time to eat now <laughs> Yeah, I'm a holiday.